come with me to a place of wondrous contradictions. A place that is silent and unstirring, yet restless and alive. A place of untold peace and boundless dread. Come with me into the very cradle of darkness, where those who dwell, dwell alone. Saturday night at the local tavern. Spirits are working their magic, offering the intoxicating promise of a need fulfilled. The need for human companionship. Eric Duke is needier than most. It's been one month since his wife divorced him. One month of painful solitude. Tonight, he's decided to put the past behind him and start searching for companionship. But darker spirits still lurk within Eric. Spirits of seething anger, of pent-up rage, waiting to explode. Hey, baby, let me buy you a drink. A liberated woman. I'll drink to that. Here's the liberation. It just so happens I'm a liberated man myself, you know. Hell, I even got the divorce papers to prove it. Yes, sirree. I'm as free as a bird and ready to sample some of life's sweet pleasures. Try to be social and they spit in your face. Women. They're all alike. All card-carrying members of the same union. And guess who winds up paying the dues? All a man wants is a little tenderness, a little warmth. Is that too much to ask for, Jack? Hey, Ricky. Ricky boy. What's up, man? It's good to see you. Finally came out of hibernation, huh? So tell me, what's it like to be a bachelor again? Like a million bucks. I mean, no sense sitting around the house feeling sorry for yourself, trying to figure out what went wrong. Mm, it's her fault, not mine. Well, there you go. I mean, we both know there's more fish in the sea, right? It's just a matter of keeping your bait fresh and your line in the water. Where are you going, man? Celebrate my freedom. Come and catch me a big one. Well, don't forget the reeler in slow. Hey, let me get that for you. Thank you. No problem. You waiting for somebody? Taxi. I called twice in the last hour. They still haven't come. Mm, sorry to hear that. Where are you heading? Service station by the highway entrance. I was driving to Medford when my clutch gave out. Medford? That's a long ways from here. Tell me about it. I have a final tomorrow morning that I can't afford to miss. I can give you a ride. Thanks for the offer, but Cap should be here any minute. Let me know. Saturday nights are busy. I wouldn't want to put you out. It's not a problem. Highway station is just a couple blocks from my house. Unless, of course, you got a problem riding with a fridge. <laughs> Eric Duke, major appliance troubleshooter at your service, man. Lena Gibson. I'm tired of waiting for a taxi. Most of my repair work for Skinner's appliance store. I also buy junk units, fix them up, and sell them good as new. <laughs> yes, yeah, re refrigerators of my life. I don't remember passing through these woods. Mm. It's a scenic route. Be relaxed, have a swig. Help warm you up. Don't touch me. Damn it, I knew it. First time I saw you sashaying around the bar. You can let me out here. Just like my ex-wife, Margie. Nice queen. 
colder than the coldest refrigerator. I'll find my own way back. A sweet little college girl like you could learn a lot from a fridge. Please, just let me out. Low maintenance, dependable, serves ice cold beer night and day. Let you take what you want with no complaints. No one never treated a man half as good. No woman ever will. You have to run out on me like that. I mean, hell, I'm a, I'm a reasonable guy. I mean, if she could just ask nicely, I would. I mean, I'd let her go. <laughs> it's your fault, Margie. If you hadn't dumped me, that girl would still be breathing. You killed her, not me. <laughs> Yourself together. It's cool, everything's gonna be all right. Let me out of here. Please. Get yourself a beer. That's all. Yo, Ricky, what's a good word? Man, you are one sorry mess. You look like you've been hit by a truck. What the hell are you talking about? That big fish you went after. She must have tossed you around some, huh? Yeah, she was a handful. Oh, but you didn't get away, did you? Eric Duke to the parts counter. The replacement motor came in on the Hager unit. Well, no rest for the weary, huh, buddy? Refrigerators of my life. Dirty condenser back here. 
Mrs. Hager, I cleaned it up for you, no charge. I would certainly hope so, considering you promised two weeks ago to have it fixed in no time. I'm sorry for the inconvenience, but we had to order your part. Two weeks without a working fridge. You have any conception of the hell I've been going through? Yes, ma'am. I'll have you know I was forced to go hat in hand next door to Lois Klempner. I had to beg her to store my food in her fridge. Let me out of here. I've been feuding with that woman ever since her dog Bowser started crapping Please. in my tool of bed. All done, Mrs. Hager. Mr. Skinner will send you the bill. Hey, hey, where's my invoice? I gotta go, sorry. Hey, you're not going anywhere until you check this thing and make sure it works. Of course it is. I just checked it. I know it is. Well, then open the damn door to find out for sure. Well, come on. What are you waiting for? You saw it. You know you saw it. You know you did. OK, fine. The light's on. You fixed it. Talk to you later, Mike. OK, Pat. Oh, heads up, fellas. Hello. Hot stuff coming through. Police are combing the area for a Medford College graduate student missing since Saturday night. Lena Gibson, 22, was last seen at Jack's Roadhouse, where she was awaiting a cab. Hey, Lil, where'd you put the emergency phone list? Why? What's the problem? The refrigerator's on the blink, that's what. Ice cream, butter, everything's melting down to mush. So what the hell are you telling me for? Call the repairman! Hey, Eric. Hold your horses. I'm, I'm, I'm running late, all right? But call Skinner's and, and they'll take care of it, okay? Look what I found. I'll be damned. <laughs> I clean forgot you were here, Eric. You don't understand. I can't help you back here, Bo. Oh, now, that's a hot one. Everybody knows you're the Surgeon General of Refrigerators. Ten to one, the thermostat's kaput. Well, whatever's broken back here, Eric will fix it. Right, Eric? Yeah. Surgeon General, right. Duke, come on, pick up the phone. Where the hell are you? Mrs. Crane's been yelling about her freezer. You were supposed to be at her house an hour ago. She got calls to make, refrigerators to fix. I swear, Duke, if you're not at this office in 15 minutes, you're fired. Please let me out. Let me out. Let me out of here! Yo, Rick. What are you doing here? Just checking to see if you're still alive. I mean, it's been almost a month since you took off of work. I've been under the weather. Come on, Rick. You still moping about your marriage? No. That's not it, Kenny. Well, you're held up in here like some old recluse. Hey, you got any cold ones in the fridge? No, don't go. There's something wrong with the fridge. Oh, and you can't fix it? This I gotta see. Hey, look, don't go in there. Okay, no, don't go in there. What? Yeah, well, the problem seems to be fixed now, so I'll just give you a call later. Is that cool?
So there I was, living like a hermit, cutting myself off from the two greatest joys life has to offer, women and refrigerators. And all because I let my imagination get the best of me. But you were looking at a man reborn, ready to give one lucky lady all the passion he's been keeping in storage. And believe me, baby, when I say that is a whole lot of passion. Mm, no good. You need some help? Are you okay? All right, thanks. I'd like to return the fare. Maybe you can. I was just about to call a cab. I can give you a ride wherever you need to go. Where do you want to go? Home? Why are we going this way? I figured you'd appreciate a more scenic route. I know I do. Relax. Let me warm you up a bit. Geez, your hands are colder than... A refrigerator, perhaps? You would know, after all, refrigerators are your life. Do I know you? Do you? <laughs> I couldn't have been that drunk. You sure we've never met before? Have we? There's something about your eyes. Uh, Maybe we knew each other in a former life. Anything's possible. Wake up, sleepyhead. <laughs> How long was I out? A while. What is this? Where the hell am I? You're in my place. Don't you remember? That damn thing. That one precious moment. That's okay, Eric. We have plenty of time to get reacquainted. All the time in the world. <laughs> Let me out. I've taken you home with me, Eric, to give you the warmth and tenderness you've always craved. Oh, God! Please help me! Please, God! No woman ever treated you half as good. Oh, yeah, God! No woman ever will. <laughs> It is said that guilt-ridden conscience cries out for punishment, unleashing demons of the mind to pay for its sins. It is also said that those who die unjustly do not go gentle into the endless night. That their souls can only be stilled by exacting retribution. From beyond the grave, vengeance is a dish served cold. <laughs>